If you lived in the UK between 1980 and 1996 during the mad cow epidemic, you as a precautionary measure are prohibited from donating blood here in Ireland. That is until today. I'm joined by Dr. Stephen Field, the medical and scientific director of the Irish Blood Transfusion Service to tell us more. What has changed today? Well, we've had an opportunity to look at the science since then, and we have looked at the risk and the risk is actually infinitesimally tiny. So the chances of actually transmitting this disease in blood is very, very, very small indeed. It's not absent, but it's very small. Great. And so today though, if you want to donate blood, where do you go? What do you do? You need to go to any one of our clinics. First of all, look on the website and uh, see if you're eligible. Um, you still need to make sure you fit all the health criteria. And uh, if they have any questions, you, do you encourage people to come on in in case they think, well, I might meet all of these requirements, but maybe there's one? Or do you say, err on the side of caution and don't come in? What do no, you I say? No, I think we would rather people actually either phoned us. Okay. We actually have telephone numbers on, on the uh, website as well and ask the questions. Great. And then made themselves an appointment to come into one of our clinics. How big of a difference will it make for Ireland's blood supply by lifting this ban? It means that we will have a whole lot more eligible donors. We lost 9,000 or so donors at the time the ban was put in place, and a good number of people will now become eligible, and that will increase our blood supply between 5 and 10 percent. 